driving down to Pleasant Beach and as you can just see there's cars parked in people's properties here. I guess this is where all your out-of-towners are going to. So I don't know if I can get on the beach. I'll have a look anyway and see how busy it is. Hello and welcome, my name is Nigel Hay and the channel is also known as Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to here, kindly like and subscribe and to all you people who have recently subscribed, thanks very much, appreciate it. Over the past couple of weeks, we have seen and heard stories about our region all over social media. Uh, some of it good and some of it not so good. I'm talking about the problems at the beaches, uh, the overcrowding, the violence. Yep, it's all been happening in our region, uh, both shorelines, Lake Erie and also on Lake Ontario. And basically the hot sunny weather, uh, the ease of the COVID restrictions has allowed all the Neanderthals to come out. And if you're not a Neanderthal, well, basically you're just a village idiot. And they've all come out and they've all gone down to the beach, got ourselves a bit too much alcohol, a bit of mob mentality and all mayhem breaks out. And then we also have the idiots that come down here and don't plan things proper and then go and piss and shit in people's gardens. Well, today we're going to be talking about that on today's video. All right, most of this happened on Canada Day, um, and I was out on Canada Day filming, but unfortunately I had a problem with my audio equipment halfway through my day. I'll just play the little clip now, and this is why I couldn't make a video on Canada Day. Sanitation. Uh, there is no washrooms, no porta potties, no nothing. Yep, there you have it. Couldn't listen to that, could you? No, pretty annoying. So anyway, uh, I went out yesterday I did some filming to make up for it which is kind of good really because in a way a lot more things transpired after Canada Day, Day itself we had a bit more we had some more trouble down at Shirkston Shores on the evening of Canada Day and things just got a bit out of hand everywhere really so we'll look into that as well um, there's certain bits of the video I may have to narrate over uh, but we'll give it a go we'll try and put together this video the best I can and my dog is now playing with its squeaky toy because it doesn't understand that I'm trying to do some work and now he's chasing a butterfly all right Distractions. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Well, I just want to make a, a disclaimer here. I am not a journalist, I'm not a reporter. I'm just here to do social media things. I have highlighted a few problems in our, our region due to COVID over the past few months, and that's as far as I get. But I, I get people's concerns, and uh, what I'm gonna try and do is just highlight some of the problems in some of our areas, and hopefully the town uh, whether it's Port Coburn, town of Fort Erie, or the city of St. Catharines, can take heed and uh, take action and make things better for everyone. Right, our first stop, Sunset Beach in St. Catharines. Uh, there was several people arrested down here, big fight broke out, uh, bear mace was used, a knife was used, it's uh, getting chaotic, uh, the residents have been complaining, uh, it's just been a bit of a shit show really, so I thought I'd come and check it out and right now it is what, midday, one o'clock in the afternoon here on a Sunday, uh, 5th of July and so far it's peaceful but I'm sure it gets much busier as the day goes on. Uh, the park was closed uh, briefly by the, uh, the city of St. Catharines and now they have this little curfew on it so anything after dusk the park is completely closed to try and keep people away and as we just saw from the beach just a minute ago there's a lot of people down here um, no masks mind you I don't have a mask today but then again I'm not going near anyone uh, but my mask is in my pocket so uh, just in case so I thought I'd check it out so we're gonna make our way over to the other side of Niagara now and uh, discuss things a little bit more Right, just driving down to Pleasant Beach and as you can just see there's cars parked in people's properties here. I guess this is where all your out-of-towners are going to. 
So I don't know if I can get on the beach. I'll have a look anyway, see how busy it is. But this is Pleasant Beach, which is technically part of Port Coburn and not part of Fort Erie. Uh, but this is a lovely beach usually. I've been down here a few times, but not in the summer, and I really like it down here. But uh, and the sand really is nice. So let's have a quick look. Alright, as you can see from behind me, Shuxton is nowhere near as busy as it was last Sunday. If you didn't see what last Sunday looked like, this is exactly what it looked like. I'll just put it right there. Uh, it was insane. Uh, people were sneaking in through here. Endless amount of people. Uh, but definitely over half, of, well, less than half of what was there last week for sure. Uh, the lake's not as nice as it was last week. Water's dirty, stinks. E. coli levels are high. Good luck to them all. Let's hope they have a shower when they finish. All right, last week when it was jam-packed at Shirkston, uh, just over the ridge over there, uh, that's where a lot of people were going. I think they still are actually uh, for the bathroom. <laughs> that was. A local bathroom and I think it still is the local bathroom as you can tell because there's nowhere else to go so people are uh, just uh, you know dropping the pants and having a little shit on the floor covered with sand Bob's your uncle right Let's talk Shirkston Shores. This is Shirkston Shores, the beach. This was taken on Canada Day, not Sunday, as I said earlier, though the two are very similar. Uh, as you can see, people just walking right through the gap in the fence, unchecked, no security anywhere. Once inside, a lot of the youths just gathered here at the, this part of the park. Uh, no security, but security did drive past apparently and completely ignored them. Uh, people have been complaining that these very strict COVID rules in the pool area but yet this was going completely unchecked. Uh, this is a video that was sent uh, to me by uh, a mem uh, someone who was staying at the park. And um, as you can see, hundreds of views. People were saying between 150 and 200. Uh, most of them probably between the ages of 15 and 18, just roaming around, taking over the whole place. Uh, the vast majority, if not all of them, were not guests at the resort. And we have to remember a difference between here and Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach is a public place and Shirkston is private, uh, costing about $13,000 a year in fees and trailers up to as much as $300,000. It looks like these two girls here are now gonna go and do some drinking and driving. This guy's caught them out, but they're still going. Uh, anyway, as the crowd was leaving Shirkston, it started getting very boisterous. Uh, a lot of testosterone uh, being thrown around here. A couple of guys trying to fight one another. Not them two, they're walking away, but just down here, you'll see them now. It's all getting a bit heated. And apparently the residents of Shirkston had enough. A lot of them decided to go home. They went back to where they came from. Uh, they meant to have been down here for the week on vacation and they were disgusted by it because there's no security, no police, no law enforcement whatsoever. And they were done. They just had enough and they were really, really upset by it. Uh, this went on for quite a while, as you can see from this video. Now this made me laugh. It's usually the kids with the cell phones in our faces, right? Now we have to remember, just over a week ago, there was a major incident at Shirkston, which involved someone getting bottled. A big fight broke out on the beach and the police were called and apparently it was very, very uh, chaotic and overcrowded again, just like it was at Sunset Beach. Uh, so this is not the first time Shirkston has been in the news for the, uh, for the wrong reasons and people have just had enough of it. Also reports of these people just going off into the bushes and behind people's property just to have a pee or whatever. And it just really got out of hand. As you can see, more and more people just wanting to fight and it really was out of hand. What makes this happen? We got kids everywhere, youths. Is it the hot weather? Is it the uh, coronavirus uh, easing of conditions? Uh, people just bored, people not working, people got too much time on their hands. It's, it's just all out of control everywhere you go. And it's not just happening here. It seems to be happening in many, many other places too. It happened in the States. It happened in the UK over the weekend. And it is just all part of this coronavirus lockdown. And people just not giving a shit anymore, to be quite honest. We have governments trying to impose a mandatory face mask, but not one face mask was seen throughout this video. Anyway, eventually the police showed up and uh, kicked everyone off and everyone finally left. Uh, but it did leave Shirkston with a lot of explaining to do, and eventually they did put an apology out. So a lot of the residents 
down here at Pleasant Beach were very upset last week with the shenanigans that was going on. Anyway, yeah, a lot of these houses along here, uh, people had front row seats to watching people having a pee and a shit at <laughs> Shirkston, seriously. Uh, a lot of these houses uh, back on to uh, Shirkston and uh, those people who needed the washroom couldn't be bothered going to find one and especially those on Pleasant Beach as well could not have one so they just went in the sand dunes in the bushes and uh, left their mess behind gross right maybe the town of Port Coburn if they want people they're gonna keep letting people come down here put a porta potty down there give them some sanitation all right, this is Crystal Beach, and this year it is only open to residents, and you need a pass in order to get in here. So with that said, uh, many people are now venturing to different areas of the region uh, which do not have restrictions like this, um, like over in St. Catharines and also closer to home here at Pleasant Beach, uh, Bernard Beach and even the makeshift beach just by the Palmwood. Um, there's a reason why uh, Crystal Beach has done this. It's to keep the crowds down. Uh, technically, we are still in a lockdown, believe it or not. Uh, it's hard to believe that. Uh, the beach at Pleasant Beach was packed, but I can tell you here at Crystal Beach, it's nicely spread out, and that makes a lot of people feel a lot safer for sure. Uh, but when you go to see some of these other beaches, oh my Lord. So uh, there you have it. All right, we're gonna make our way over to a few other places and uh, check it out. All right, now that the uh, beach is private to residents only of Fort Erie, people have got to use their imaginations. They've come all the way down from Mississauga, Hamilton, Toronto, Oshawa, places like that. And now they've got to find somewhere else to go, otherwise it's a pointless journey. Though the sign still does say on the uh, QEW, beach is only open to Fort Erie residents. But that still doesn't stop them. So now people come on down and find anything anywhere they can to set up shop for the day. Because it is a beautiful day, you can't, you can't stop them, it's beautiful. It doesn't help when the government sends mixed messages too. That's nice, people are actually taking the garbage with them. Not everyone's bad after all. It actually smells like a tramp has been living around here. Oh my God, the smell of urine is really strong. All right, this is the boat launch down on the uh, Crystal Beach. And as you can see, there's a, uh, move over that way. There's a lot of people around. It is busy. And um, for people coming out of town, they're expecting a beach to go to, but Crystal Beach is closed, residents only. Over in St. Catharines, you have Sunset Beach, which was, it was busy when I was there, and that was 11.30 this morning, so no doubt it's even busier by now. Uh, but right now, it's late mid-afternoon, still quite busy down here. More and more people are still showing up, so it'll be interesting to see how busy it gets. Um, not as busy as last Sunday, um, but we're just over at Pleasant Beach. Pleasant Beach itself was busy, but Shirkston is not as busy as it was the previous week after all the problems they had down there. Um, at the end of the day, we still may be in a lockdown of some kind of thing. We're in phase two, but things are still slowly opening up. Uh, but yet we, we have towns and cities constantly trying to push for mandatory masks to be worn in public. But yet when you're on a beach with hundreds and hundreds of people, it doesn't make sense, right? I mean, I wouldn't wear a mask on a beach anyway, but then again, I wouldn't go on a packed beach. Uh, when I was on the beach last week at Crystal Beach, it was nicely uh, spaced out. It was, it felt safe. Um, but when I just went onto Pleasant Beach, it, it was like really close. A lot of people are really close to one another. And that to me is not safe. Uh, Shirkston last week, looking at the video, it was really, really close. A lot of people were really on top of one another. Uh, but this week, nowhere near as bad, which is good. So uh, there we go. Uh, I actually forgot, there's one more beach to check out, which is technically at the bottom of my road. Um, Bernard Public Beach. So this is Bernard uh, Public Beach, uh, located here in Fort Erie, open to the public, no membership required. And it's nice to see they've got a porta potty here. So they're prepared.
All right, this is the beach I like to call the land of segregation. And uh, once the summer comes, that fence behind me goes up. This becomes extremely private and no one's allowed on it technically. And then any local person or anyone from out of town has to contend with that bit of beach, which is like, I don't know, 25 meters by 50. And that's what they call the beach. Pretty disgraceful, really. Uh, but that is it. That is the public beach. Just that little piece here. I'm actually on private property right now, so they say private, uh, but I don't really care. All right, so if you like the video, please make sure you like and subscribe and we'll keep putting more videos out for you. Uh, this video in particular was more of a COVID update more than anything, but without giving you the stats, uh, it is COVID related. Beaches and packed and coughing and stuff like that. So we'll put it under the COVID stuff, okay? Oi, oi, put your mask on. Put your mask on. Don't think they can hear me. <laughs>